Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter on this July 10th, 2015, Basic Sorgonomics. And of course, uh, today I want to talk about uh, Pebble Fatigue. That's, that's the name I'm giving it so far, Pebble Fatigue. Uh, and t- Pebble Dependence. So, I, for whatever reason, I, so I got a Pebble watch here, you know, I traded the Google Glass for it, you know, it's the original Pebble, and I think this might have been the Kickstarter edition, actually, that I got off of, uh, our, our buddy Chilla from, from Awesome Cast, our device extraordinaire over there, and it's really kind of, oh, it's changed my life. No, it's made my life more convenient and also more aware, right? I have tweets going to the phone. I have notifications for stuff going on on Facebook. You know, basically everything that comes through text messages, right, through through my phone goes here. And I got to the point where I, I had this horrible thing where I lose cords all the time. It was the first time I lost my pebble cord. Uh, so a little, a few hours before the podcast, uh, went on on Tuesday where we record everything, all the main shows, I was just like, my pebble's dead. I don't have a cord. I just Amazon to get one here in two days, which will be here today, actually. Uh, and I feel like my arm has been lopped off. There's that, that hole of, I don't know what's going on, you know? And there's that, that, that that ping that you get of uh, of uh, people messaging and seeing you know being all looked down and see oh, okay how oh, cool somebody's favoriting that tweet somebody's retweeting that tweet somebody responded to that tweet you know and and definitely there's a little bit of dopamine that gets released when you when you do that you know we talked about this in other spaces about every time you see a like every time you see something like that you're like people like me people like me people like the thing I'm doing. And now it's not checking the phone and how many times you pull it out of your pocket. And this solves that problem, having it on your wrist. Certainly, I'm not taking my phone out of my pocket when I'm out and about. I'm not taking it out and lighting up that screen. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. It lasts longer because the screen's not lighting up every time a notification comes through. I mean, I have you know certain things like every time somebody likes a, a clamor that we put on in that app, I can't really. I want to know the stuff going on, but I want to turn it off because there's too much stuff sometimes you know, or follows us or something, I, I want to get a notification and say, okay, that thing, that thing I plan, I, I, pl- I sent out for today, I plan for today is working and just taking a little mental note. But then on the other side, I'm doing podcasts about mindfulness and, and kind of detaching and, and, uh, and being in the moment, and how much am I being in the moment if my watch is buzzing at me? I, I, I mentioned uh, during our, our recording of Fishing Without Bait yesterday, which uh, I believe the one where I brought this up will be up this Tuesday at fishingwithoutbait.com. And I'm like, well, well, that's interesting because I always get you know notifications, and you know, I kind of explained a real quick version of the situation. And he looks at me as like, how how important are you you must be you must be really important to get those all the time and i'm like oh, well no anyway I, I think that's kind of an oversimplification but it is kind of interesting be like is it something that we do to make us feel important you know i mean how many of us especially if you're listening to something like this are really kind of tethered to what's happening on their social media um and 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 that's you know i've often said that that is the way I connect with my friends now since I don't have time to meet with them, which then that sounds sad if I put it that way. But still, but it is um, it is a way to still catch up with people that you probably would have uh, lost touch with a while ago. Um, I think it's very true that certain friends that never adopted technology are, are, are at least in a, in a, in a certain scale, um, d- due to fall out of communication, you know, for whatever reason. And uh, I, I think, I think those that, you know, like, like, how, how often do I actually get to see my good friends, right? Uh, you know, my, my, my best friend Chachi, you know, I, I get to see him maybe once a week, maybe once a week. And that's probably partially because I've hired him on to do jobs. <laughs> I'm so gracious that he helps me with those things. Uh, but, the conversation and the catch up doesn't happen. You know, we don't have a big catch up conversation whenever we meet because we're having our catch up conversation every day because he's sitting at work. I'm sitting at a coffee shop and we're just BSing all day long. He is my constant BS line. That sounds more negative than it actually is. But uh, and 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 even to the point. Uh, there was a, a curious thing that happened where uh, we're we're going to go see a show uh, tomorrow, today, uh, whenever this released. And uh, there was an extra ticket, and I'm running through my head of people that can go, and I'm like, oh, we can ask such and such to go. Oh, they live in Texas. Oh, they live in New York. You know, 
I trying to lock down who is actually a local physically that could go <laughs> join us on this thing is really interesting because we've expanded our circle to these kind of satellite people, you know, uh, you know, even to the point where, you know, I, I, I think, you know, Oh, such and such to go. He's local. It's like, oh yeah, such and such, such is two hours away. We just talk with him every week, you know, and uh, and 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 dealing with that. So, I, I think it's really curious to to see how that 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 works out. So, uh, but really rolling back to, if you are receiving a lot of notifications, if you are always checking your phone, I mean, this is the standard thing. I, I think a lot of times. Uh, you know, social media and the technology, it does kind of extend our tendencies and our personality and sometimes our, our faults and our positives. So, you know, we, we, we do have to step back and see if we're overdoing it because we're like, I'm talking to my friends. This is great. I'm doing this. This is great. I'm getting likes. This is great. It was like, great. Are you sure that's the best thing for you? And this is something that somebody needs to be willing to and uh, look into themselves and, and kind of kind of look at things. I mean, I I, I try not to. Uh, I mean, how many times do you hear like, "Oh, I'm not on Facebook. You know, I, don't, I don't like it." You just think they're a luddite, right? And I don't want that to be the case. That's a choice. That's a choice. You don't have to be on Facebook. You mean you choose to be on Facebook? I'm starting to start, now. I'm just adopting stuff from the from the mindfulness podcast at this point. But seriously, you choose to be on Facebook. You choose to be on Twitter. I choose to be on all these other things because I, for me, I want to be on uh, uh, Periscope and everything else because I want to see what the response is. I like the person that just said hi, hello. You know, I mean, that is the experiment of seeing what happens. See if people are resonating with the conversations that we're having on this podcast and exposing it to a different platform. You know, I'm. In the business of 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 eyeballs and ear holes and that's going on my business card but uh, it really is because it's 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 helping people with a message try to get try to reach people try to get them in the door for, for as a client trying to get them to be aware and take action or donate to a cause be them, get them to just be entertained by the thing you're doing so that you can get an advertiser or something, right? Or you can sell a t shirt or something, whatever the case may be. Or you can buy the DVD that we made of that show, right? It's all about awareness and all of this strings together, you know? I choose to do this podcast, you know, because well, partially, originally, just to help myself organize my thoughts, uh, get me going. Uh, kind of have an ongoing thing, uh, a desire to have a daily show and see how that goes and see who pops in here from day to day. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and I've accepted all the uh, additional little checks and balances that go with that. I was keeping an eye on responses, responding to every comment I see come through as much as I can, right? I mean, that is all a choice. And the way you do your social media is your choice. To be good at, to be, to be bad at, to be to be uh, a broadcaster instead of a responder, right? You know, I've talked about I've talked about these ideas of of you know of where we're doing. Are we actually being social on the social media? But and also being able to block that out and let your mind rest a little bit too. So some things to think about here on this Friday. For this basic Sorgonomics, thank you, everybody. Please check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. Please join the newsletter. I do a write-up every week. It goes on the blog. It goes on the newsletter to you and everywhere else. And uh, and and please, please, if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, check it out. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.